right, welcome to WW Motocross Park. I'm CJ Harris with the Moto Stop Show, and Junior, thank you so much for having us out, man. I heard the news, and I had to come out and get an interview with you. Um, break us the news. Got some big race coming up? Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, I guess a press release at 1.30 in the morning the other day made my phone start ringing at 4 a.m. Got me and the wife up out of bed, and people were calling, texting, uh, all day long, it's crazy. MXGP USA, right here in Jacksonville, Florida at Double W Motocross Park. Truly for me seeing this track, it is came full circle. What do you feel about it? I'm very proud of the, the accomplishment of what we've done. We've worked hard. Sometimes, uh, just like anything else, you feel like giving up. But uh, uh, So that's how we based our business plan the whole time, is just thanking people, treating people like family. And we're in the South, it's Southern hospitality right here. You said it best, and something you said that really hits home with me is never give up, you know. Next year, or maybe it was the fastest in Florida, the first one, the turnout wasn't that good. Next year, you continue to do it, you continue to build it, and then you had a very successful race. The turnout, the vibe, everybody came here. The, I mean, the people just racing, everybody loved it. So you, you see that never give up, you know, that heart of a line in you, and, and that's why I truly think it's going to be cool, MXGP here. Racing's what we really like to do. It's fun, it's exciting, it's like a... Uh, putting on a big party or a wedding. There's a lot of anticipation months up to, unfortunately it's not months up until this, it's uh, weeks, but- uh, Counting week, the days down now. Yeah, days, exactly. I noticed on Wynn's uh, webpage on Unlimited Sports Today, it had a clock countdown and yeah, just keep working, keep doing it, keep doing what you do and doing good things for other people and something good someday should happen to you. All right, Junior, so Double W Motocross Park, man, didn't always uh, start as a, a track started as a farm out here a family farm is that right yep it was uh my family's farm my dad built and started buying it as small pieces of parcels and then eventually it grew up to 587 acres 600 acres but uh originally it was a quail hunting farm my dad was a bird hunter i grew up bird hunting um never would let me race a dirt bike but i always had a dirt bike but uh at the signing of the farm turning over he stood up from the table and said i bet you're gonna build a dirt bike track out there and i said yes i am I love it. Well, let's keep walking and uh, see what else we can find here at Double W Motocross Park. Right here outside of beautiful Jacksonville, Florida. And another thing with that MXGP in Jacksonville, Florida, all the hotels, the restaurants, just about anything and everything you need, this sets it up for a perfect place to have the race. We're five minutes from 10, we're 15 minutes from 95, and we're 40 minutes from I-75. So we've got hotels, nice restaurants, clean hotels right down the street. Jacksonville Beach is 35, 40 minutes away in a drive, so uh, it really could be a destination had we ever, if we ever get another race or a bigger race that we have time to prep for it right and really advertise and do good things. It could be a family vacation destination to come to Jacksonville, stay at the beach, go to Daytona, stay at the beach, see some sites, go to St. Augustine, see the oldest town in the state of Florida, and then come out and watch the best in the world race motocross right here at Double W Motocross Park. MXGP coming. Now, I've personally never been, so I'm very excited to, to come to this one. I know you run a tight ship out here. Are you worried a little bit about the facility and what's going to go on with some of these crazy foreigners coming into town? Well, uh, yeah, I can't. You know, there's some people say that I may need to be medicated. I don't think I need to be medicated, but I think at a big event, at the fair, at a huge concert venue or whatever, that landowner has to say, okay, we're going to do this event, we're going to clean up next week, and we'll make it back. Um, yeah, I don't like people throwing cigarette butts on the ground, but all it is is work and you pick it back up and you make it back like it was again. So that's the kind of the mentality that I've taken upon this big race. What kind of work are you going to have to do to the track out there? Do you know yet or what's... Well, MX Sports, Davey Coombs has been here and looked at the track. Uh, we watched a big bike ride it. Uh, believe it or not, the track's too big. It's bigger than what uh, FIM and Youthstream would like uh, lengthwise and time-wise on a motorcycle. So we'll chop the track a little bit, we'll alter it, but uh, we're going to do some inside spectator areas with some tunnels, uh, some big tanks where you can be able to walk in. There'll be eight foot uh, circumference tanks. Uh, right behind our starting gate, there'll be a 145 foot two story structure made out of scaffolding right behind the starting gate, which is the podium. Um, Monster Energy VIP, they're having a concert out here Saturday night. Um, I'm not familiar with the band or the musician that's coming uh, mr cotter said i probably don't have him on my playlist but that's okay you know it's going to be a great time you know it's in it's, it's the united states gp um i would hope that everybody uh supports it i've made a post or two on instagram talking about united states get a, you know get together and unite to do this but if you've ever rode a 
a bike with knobby tires on it. You should be here, you know? I mean, Absolutely. I and so all the Euros, but all the Americans as well. I mean, confirmed, I, Eli Cooper Tomac, Red, Cooper Tomac, Webb. Uh, I'm told that possibly Christian Craig and uh, Cole Seeley will be here, you know, yep. the young, uh, Honda guys. Uh, yeah, I'm blown away. Just blown away that uh, those guys will be ripping up WW. You know, uh, I've got friends that... Uh, they get into the histor historical part of it, and uh, they said, did you see on Racer X Online, it shows what tracks have had a GP in America, and you know, and now you're on there, or you're going to be on there, and um, yeah, that blows me away a little bit, And but I'm not a gamer, but my son does love playing that Xbox or 360 or whatever. Next year, they've already called me and told me that next year you'll be on that game because your track's in the series, so... Uh, I mean, it's just every time I turn around, something new, something that makes me get chill bumps or makes me smile or makes me just, uh, I do a lot of staring up at the sky right now sometimes, mowing yeah. grass, and uh, sometimes it's easy to get emotional a little bit about it. Just, uh, it's been a lot of hard work. I mean, every square inch of this place we've touched a thousand times and we continue going over it. So it's, uh, it's our track, it's your track, it's Florida's track. It was an area regional qualifier. Area. Area qualifier came here. I'm telling you, hands down, and, and this isn't because I'm sitting here. You can ask anybody I ever talked to. The track changes you made made it the funnest track I've ever raced. It became a full blown racetrack, the whole part of it. There was lines, it didn't matter where you wanted to go. It was fast, it was safe, it was truly a fun racing track. And I think that's what we're going to get. You've already mission accomplished on the first one, and you always greet us, always so pleasurable and nice. So, uh, yeah, of course, you're going to continue to do that, I imagine. What do, you, what do you say we walk out and look at this track? I want to give some people a look at this dirt. And, you know, a lot of people, I talk to people, it, it's a flat track. Yeah, you know what? It's not in the middle of the mountain somewhere, but you push a lot of dirt on this place, on this property. And uh, well, let's walk out here and check out this All track, right, man. All right, so we're out here on the track now. And I, I had to come out here because we're standing on top of Mount Ruthless. As we talked about it earlier, you said 35 foot? 35 foot above grade right here. I mean, this hill, until you're standing on top of it, even riding up it many, many of laps, you don't realize actually how steep and how tall it kind of really is up here. It's pretty big. Oh, yeah. it's uh, It gives elevation to flat land track. Oh, man, it is amazing. And just looking around, I mean, like you said, th this place out there with the cows roaming, taking care of the grass right now, just the, the jumps. I can look and I can just picture races here. Being lucky enough to call a few races, standing right there in that tower, seeing some of the epic battles go on at this track, I know what the MXGP is going to bring. And it's just truly, like you said, you get goosebumps earlier. I'm getting those goosebumps just looking up here because now I can visualize, you know, the top Euros coming through, the top people from across the world, Eli Tomac, Cooper Webb riding that, you know, hopefully maybe that 2018 Yamaha, huh? How cool would that be? That would be way cool. All right, so I got to ask you, what is your favorite? I mean, obviously the land, take the farm out of it. What's your favorite part of the track you got going on? Or it may not even be an obstacle that's here. What's your favorite part of the track that's been here since you started it? Well, as a rider, and, and I had to back off from riding, the big table was, you know, we were famous for the big table it's not here anymore it's still a big jump but it's not the big table uh, the GPs normally don't have big jumps like that so we probably won't have the big table in there but I listen to everybody I try to take it all in I try to please everybody and uh, I just don't know where to chop it and where to cut it so that's why it's nice to have the MX sports family here and to say this is what we think we need to do and we've proven that you can change this track and still make it fun everybody has a great time and, and real racy uh, no, it's good times. And man, again, it's just taking in the scenery out here, Junior. You did an amazing job with this. Looking forward. I, I know nothing's set in stone, but obviously the shutdown of Gatorback, I mean, huge shock to pretty much everybody in motocross, especially amateur motocross, holding one of the biggest amateur events ever, many O's. I hope they can get things back going again at Gatorback because Florida deserves a track like that. Florida deserves a track like this, as well as the smaller tracks that we all go ride Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I uh, never wish bad luck on anybody, so I hope those guys can pull everything together and maybe get it back because uh, Gatorback's been around for a long time. I used to go there when you could build scaffolding at the Pro Nationals, and then I showed back up one year and it said no scaffolding on the gate, and I was blown away. I can't put my scaffolding up. But, uh, yeah, I've been going to Gatorback for a long time. Um, I definitely have already spoke somebody that asked me the same question. You wouldn't be able to handle the mini O's. And I said, well, I'm not going to let them dig tunnels from camper to camper. That's for sure. And it but, happens. Yeah, but the pit bikes, uh, 
we may have to just build them a crazy corral and let them have a place to let off steam, the little ones. You know, we got to get past this one, uh, but I'd be lying to you if I don't lay in bed and going, all right, what's the next one? And even though I hadn't got this one done yet, but uh, it's uh, definitely something you have to keep in the forefront, is just thinking ahead. You got to continue to grow and continue to think. That's how everybody gets better and moves on and, and things do grow faster. You know, absolutely. So MXGP, possible minios, how the future for WW is just looking bright. Hopefully, hopefully just good things come to good people and we try, we help people, we try to do things, we try to be nice. Uh, I know I've thrown some people out of here before for things and uh, sure they cuss me, but uh, like we talked earlier, you can't please everybody all the time. So, But I think the general public and the biggest crowd likes to come to Double W. Man, and we're standing here in the office. This is a sign up for most of the, the amateur races here. I've walked through this line, I don't know how many times, signed my name and it just brings back memories and you know honestly I've never even looked up this way to some of these jerseys and we got jerseys and sign posters behind us I mean riders like Barsha has been here Cooper I mean Tom Parsons Ryan Sipes local Johnny Wasco how can you forget Johnny Wasco <laughs> he's famous at WW that's for sure he's famous up north where he's from in Virginia but uh he's famous he's, in mine too de uh, he's definitely made a name for himself down here and uh, what a good kid Johnny Wasco he's like a second son to me yep uh Hampshire's been here uh, we've got two Jordan Smith jerseys and uh looking for a third um yeah, Parsons jersey, he trained here before the X Games. He brought a ramp here, and we let him jump uh, with a cast on his leg, actually. And then he says to me, uh, I think I'm good, Junior. And he loaded up in a van, and he drove to Texas. My birthday is June 7th, and the X Games, my mother called me down to have a piece of birthday cake uh, a year or two ago, I guess. And we walked in the house right after eating the birthday cake and never even got to sit down. And they were doing best whip, and they just... He won and they put the gold medal around his neck and I got pictures in my phone of that gold medal coming back out here and him giving it to Jacob and Jacob putting it on and getting to hold it and everything. So Parsons near and dear to our heart for sure. That's but awesome. Everybody in here is, I mean, Caleb Russell's jersey, a number one jersey from a GNCC kid. Oh, that yeah. guy's unbelievable. And I've had people call him a woods rider before on our Facebook page and I said, he's not a woods rider, he's a dirt bike rider. Look at him, he can outrun most of you guys out there in moto and he does GNCC Fortner's you know, jersey, old jersey. My wife's got the first probably ever 24 number plate off of Fortner's bike when he went to number 24. Uh, Harold Glisson's a one-armed man that rides a dirt bike. The girls, Marissa Polinchek, uh, 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 Markelon, uh, Michael Stryker, he was a mechanic, uh, worked with Sykes, tried to race pro, did it for a while, wasn't working out. But he went back to Loretta's last year in plus 25, and all the odds were against him, and he walked away with a championship. I mean, and I texted him as soon, and I was up there with Austin Stroop trying to win a championship with Austin, and I was so happy that Stryker won it. Uh, Hannah Hodges' jersey, Matt Babbitt's jersey, 987. Last year, he got the 98 number. The kid raced his way, triple digit pro from up in New York, uh, running a snow plow, hauling horses, whatever it takes to make a living to go to the races. And now he's national number 98. So uh, some of his friends sometimes come in and laugh. They're like, he's 98 now, but he just hadn't been back and brought me a new jersey. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of memories in this room. Uh, a lot of things in this room that mean a ton to us. So MXGP coming Double W Motocross Park, September 1st and 2nd. 1st and 2nd. 1st and 2nd. Is there going to be an amateur race? I believe there's going to be a Gold Cup amateur race on Friday. Friday. you got Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. The pros go on the track for practice. I think uh, early afternoon it's a qualifying race. They race for like a pole position mm -hmm. all the way through the gates. Uh, then Sunday would be pro only. And then Monday we're going to have an open practice, I believe, is the way it's going to go. So uh, every, every, every aspect about it, you know, I mean, uh, it's just it's a blessing. It's it's coolest thing in the world right now absolutely so if somebody wants to come out here unlimited sports unlimited sports mx.com has all the information uh mxgpusa.com you can buy tickets online through okay. there but unlimited sports mx.com is the best place to go um, i noticed last night that uh, their web page just changed around a little bit and everything's toward this race everybody is really putting in a ton of effort to make this thing go off without a hitch well we're counting on you Junior, WW Motocross Park, Unlimited MX Sports, 
uh, Davey Coombs and everybody to make sure this comes back next year, especially hopefully right back in this track because it's about an hour and a half drive for me to get here, and I'm feeling pretty good about that drive, all right? <laughs> that would be uh, – that would be – yeah, that definitely be another dream come true. You know, if uh, if they wanted to bring it back here again, or uh, there's nothing more than we like doing than putting on a good show for the people, putting on a good race, and uh, the anticipation of building up to that, and then getting it done, and then Monday morning clean up and get ready to go again. Spectators gonna have plenty of, you know, I've I've seen and I've read that no spectators are are gonna be able to see the race. Well. I think we're going to shock the world with what we do with spectators here. And, uh, Probably not going to be a hard thing to see the race, huh? No. I, uh, I'm, that's, that's part of my job that I'm, uh, you know, this is my baby, so to say, so I want to show it off the best. And uh, I could imagine going to a big race where you're sitting on flat land, but if you come to this race, you're going to be sitting, watching, and you will be elevated. That's all I'll say. And uh, there's big plans for a way for you to watch this race here. Well, Junior, I appreciate your time, man. It has been a pleasure to get the insight. I mean, coming here probably three, four, five years. I don't even remember how long now, but, you know, getting to talk to you always never got that full insight. It, it's been eye-opening. Hopefully the fans out there get to see something that they didn't know. They get to see a little bit more about the track. It's not just a, a flat dirt bike track out in the middle of the field. There is elevation. You guys have did an amazing job. This track is going to lend to the most amazing race they've probably ever seen right here in america and i'm and i'm saying that from riding the track personally you don't have to say it because i don't want people to think you're biased i'm saying it no matter what anybody thinks of me so come out you're going to see some great racing action just look around all the jerseys that's been here i mean i know they ride at a lot of tracks but i remember before this thing was open to the public all the pros just wanted to ride here and they flocked here i mean my friends would come down from up north and they're with ww and I, at that time i had a road here and they're like oh we're going to ride ww and i'm like why is everybody going to this double W place? Like, what is the, the, the big crave about it? And then when I came out, obviously, it was very easy to see. Super fun track. Um, yeah, Unlimited Sports MX. We hope to see everybody out here. Again, Junior, thank you for your time on the Motostop Show. As always, my name is CJ Harris. It's been a pleasure to host this right here at Double W Motocross Park in Jacksonville, Florida. Coming to you September 1st and 2nd, the Motocross MXGP USA, right? That's it, MXGP USA. There you go. We'll see you guys there.